One of the most important techniques that you can discover about giving shiatsu is related to the most basic thing that we do, which is touch the person. And so when we touch, at first, the body wants to know, what is this? So the assessment of what's happening happens through the receiver's sympathetic nervous system, orthosympathetic nervous system, and to see if this is something useful, it's something helpful, or it's something intrusive or dangerous. And so at first, it creates a, like a barrier. It's not accepting the stimulation. It's trying to hold it outside of the body. And that's the response, is to make this barrier. If we hold and the body starts to understand, well, this is something that's positive, then that barrier starts to dissolve, and the reception of this stimulation switches over from the orthosympathetic to the parasympathetic. Now, a lot of people do this intuitively when they give treatments, but it's also interesting to understand a little bit about the physiology behind it. Once it switches over to the parasympathetic, you as the giver also notice that this barrier softens and then opens. It feels like you sink in further or something opens. In previous days, we used to call this the switch. Now, if we hold another hand on the receiver's body, at first, we feel the barrier. The orthosympathetic is assessing, what is this? Then as it starts to notice that this is something positive, the orthosympathetic response of the barrier gives way, it starts to soften, and you feel like it opens. The body's receiving, and the parasympathetic now is at work. And when both hands are in a parasympathetic connection, the receiver will feel that the two hands are blended into one because the parasympathetic unifies stimulation. It unifies the body, so it also unifies the reception of responses. The reason that the orthosympathetic creates this barrier is because it protects the body. It's related to what's called the flight and fight. So when there's danger, something that's intrusive, something that's traumatic, the body will go into an alarm state. And so on a milder level, that's how this mechanism of the barrier to the opening, ortho to parasympathetic, works. Now the parasympathetic is global. It relates to connecting and activating the whole body as one. If we look further into that, we start to understand that the parasympathetic is also related to the governing vessel, conception vessel. Now, I'm not going to explain that in detail. It's in our Shatsu Shintai book, the explanation of that. But then the governing vessel, conception vessel, regulates all of the other meridians, so all the energy fields. So when we get this parasympathetic response, it's also activating governing vessel and conception vessel, and therefore it's regulating and helping to start the process of balancing all of the meridians. The receiver usually is not noticing other than the fact that they're relaxing, breathing deeper, because also parasympathetic is connected to what's called the relaxation response. The parasympathetic triggers the mechanism of the body that causes regeneration of energy, building up of chi. So that's why understanding this response as a giver Understanding when you've initiated that response can be so powerful when you give a treatment. So, the barrier, the softening, and the feeling of reception, connection. The barrier, the softening, the reception, and then you feel the sensation that your two hands connect. And you can go each step of the treatment, where you give pressure, feel the barrier. When it opens, not only do you feel that opening and reception, but then you feel the connection to the other hand that's stable, or what's sometimes called the mother hand. So that's just a brief explanation and a brief dialogue here about one of the most basic and essential ideas and essential techniques to master when you do shiatsu.